Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here. This video is going to be another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video, and this time, going to be playing with Ritual Beasts again. Decided to do two in one day for you, and I just got really lucky in one Rock, Paper, Scissors again, and opened Elder Conahawk. Holy shit. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, D-Mall is actually, like, the GOAT. Um, I very rarely find people that are willing to play uh, multiple games at a time, uh, or multiple matches, rather, for videos at a time. And he was like, yeah, dude, what's up? I've got other decks that I can play. After the uh, ABC match that I just got done filming was uh, was played. And I was like, yeah, I would love to get more Ritual Beast deck um, like action on the channel for uh, for the uh, for the fact strictly thereof of that Ritual Beasts are like really, really fun. And I really like playing the deck. And so I decided I would spoil you guys and do a couple videos in the same day because why the fuck not, you know? Uh, Pretty, pretty, pretty self-exclamatory. Pretty standard, at least I think so. Um, okay, uh, so we'll do we'll target these two, and then uh, and then put this. I think I've absolutely. I think in my process of talking, I have uh, <laughs> I have fucked up uh, quite substantially. Um, we'll find out. Uh, but so I'll get ambush. I can get steeds. It's not a problem. Um, in fact, I can actually. It's actually not a problem at all because I can actually bring that Apelio back. Um, and do another play, so it's actually not a problem at all, um, now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, but I do want access to Winda, but what I could do instead of doing, I could tag this out where I can get the access to the, uh, to the other tamer via Oracle of Zephyr. Uh, so I think I'm going to actually banish the Rampangu, yeah, uh, because I can then send Ulti Guy Pelia, because I drew the other, uh, field spell, uh, engine. So what I'm capable of doing is going Oracle of Zephyr, uh, adding Zephyr and Pilica, and then Brain Research Lab, Normal Summoning. Uh, well, no, I can't Normal Summon because I Normal Summon Elder and Conahawk. Whoops. Um, okay, so this one, this one is just me fucking up on all sorts of uh, of levels because <laughs> it doesn't stack with Elder. I started literally rambling on, on so many different like basically plot points of why I'm really happy about the situation that I'm in. And then it turns out that I'm just a dangus, and I have such an offset balance of monsters. <laughs> Fuck me. Oh, I hope I don't get kaiju That would suck dick. Alright. Well, at least we're gonna be able to set double steeds and push. I need to stop rambling. I literally do this in almost every video. I will start talking about a different topic and I will lose my train of thought where I was in my play. <laughs> and it's so bad. It needs to not happen. Okay, trade in for Malefic Stardust Dragon. Whoa! What the fuck is happening here? I don't even know what deck this is. He listed off like 10 different decks that he could play. Kaiju! No! <laughs> no, not the Kaiju! Fuck! Oh, okay. Alright. I deserved this. <laughs> I deserved this. I I deserved this, did I? All right, so I'm going to ambush here, right? I'm going to ambush here for this and Conahawk, yeah? Because then I can normal summon this and get a Paleo next turn. So yeah, this and Conahawk, and I'm going to Steeds this uh, this guard -la, 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 la thing -o. Um, So I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to keep my Kaiju. Because I would fucking love to keep this kaiju. <laughs> Alright? So, I would love this. Because then this means I don't... No! No! No, not responding! Oh, how dare you! You please, you please, you please, you please. I am going to beg the fucking gods. There we go. Yes, it came back! Oh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro decided it does not respond. And it literally, I don't know if it picked up on the uh, camera render. But it white screened for me. And I was just like, this is bad. This is over. Um, that was going to be a problem. Whoa! I get to normal summon two Zephyr and Pilikas. <laughs> well then. Um, we can most definitely make this happen. Wait, what? What the fuck? Oh. Oh, this is what it's doing. It's making me count down. Stuff usually never stays there that long. Whoops. Alright, so this is going to put window there. Because that is definitely needed. Because Winda is the emo I keep getting dimensional barriered on this bullshit. But that's fine. You know why? 
<laughs> because it's gonna be fine for the strict as aspect of I'm going to be able to normal summon the Zephyr Pelia and bring back a Pelio and then a Pelio is gonna be able to pump um, and I can actually make lightning Chidori um, hmm. decisions decisions I can make lightning Chidori and Chidori can bounce this um, I could steeds it away also there's there's multiple options here uh, but yeah so what we're gonna do is we're gonna normal summon this we're gonna use this to special uh, the Apelio or at least we're gonna try to fingers crossed we're gonna try to if this is a strike and it gets activated here I'm going to like flip my shit because that'll be perfect <laughs> um, but uh, yeah so this is going to be fine uh, to attack mode to attack mode um, I'm gonna activate this banishing the ambush just so I have further fuel um, and so this is 15 he's at 9,000 right so what I can do here is that I can does this bounce face-up cards or is it only face-up cards your opponent controls face-up cards your opponent controls how fucking great all right so what I can do is I can make lightning Shidori here and spin this or I can just attack and hope for the best uh, this is uh, this is 3k this is 52 and then this is 34 so 34 plus 52 is 8,000 something which is definitely not big enough for me to win this turn um, unless uh, yeah this is not enough for me to win this turn whoops uh, but what I can do is I can just steeds I can steeds this away uh, and hope that he doesn't have another big kaiju fingers crossed um, and then attack with this and basically hope that this isn't like a mirror force for the blowout <laughs> that would be insane um, well, actually oh, I think I know how to make this game I can target my own elder because it's tiny as shit and I can make lightning Chidori to get rid of this. I can at least solidify my game state. I don't know if it's make it game in air quotes. What is this? Um, he gets to change it to face down defense position. Well then, um, I'm gonna remove it from the board. Saws, saws fam. Um, and then flip this back face up. <laughs> uh, but now I get to activate this. Ha ha! And now I get to normal summon this, and then use this to bring back the Rampangu. What? Where's Rampangu? Oh my God! The Rampangu is still banished, isn't it? Yes, it is. <laughs> my play is terrible. Who the fuck watches these videos? My play is absolutely garbage. <laughs> <laughs> I suck. Why'd you surrender? Is this even game? This is 3k. This is 5,200. That's 6,000 something. So this isn't even game. I don't know why he surrendered. I guess maybe he just realized he just doesn't think he can pull the game back. But still, man. Oh, he let me go first. What a kind gentleman. However, I've drawn all these floodgates <laughs> in the form of dimensional fissure and the macro. And so I can't actually make a play. RIP in pepperonis um, but so uh, he gets to terraforming here so he gets to go for Kaiju or Kyoto waterfront and it's each time a card is sent from the field to the graveyard so as soon as he activates another card uh, oh oh it's a malefic stardust dragon I have not seen this card in years um, I think I remember him trading away it uh, for the previous turn. Um, I'm gonna do this. Um, so that gets banished, and this will get banished, so that way Kyoto Waterfront does not gain a single counter. Hehe. <laughs> um, but uh, I am in a pretty decent position if I draw Konohawk or Rampangu, because I could then use Ritual Beast Ambush, or even any Ritual Beast at that point will be pretty good. Because then I could just use the two steeds as literally one for one removals. Um, so that'd be pretty good. But so this is keeping everything out of the graveyard.
which is very good for me because that means Kyoto Waterfront is not going to gain counters because this card is absurd. Have you read it? This card does not remove counters to add kaijus. It's just when there are three or more counters on it, you can just search a kaiju once per turn. <laughs> this card's actually ridiculous. You remove the counters for your kaiju effect. Like, what? Hell yeah! Ram Pengu coming in clutch. My man. All right. So what I get to do here is I get to Ram Pangu the Ulti Guy Peleo away, and Ulti Guy Peleo is going to send Winda. And that way, when Ram Pangu dies or gets Kaiju'd over, then I'm going to just be able to, uh, I'm going to be able to, uh, da 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 ambush. Um, so it'll be, it'll be really good for me. The longer this Ram Pangu stays up, the better it's for me, gets for me anyway. Uh, but, I mean, still, regardless of the situation at hand, um, I can just start banishing his stuff. I didn't even think Macrocosmos and D-Fisher would be as good as they are in this matchup, um, in this, uh, situation. But, I mean, they are. So, <laughs> so we're gonna, we're gonna handle that the way we want. Um, but so, special summon success, okay, so, when he goes into battle phase and attacks me, I'm going to ambush the two back, and then I'm going to, uh, steeds his, uh, Gardala away. So he's, he's legit trying to hit me with pure kaijus. <laughs> I have not seen another engine card in this entire deck. Other than kaiju cards. So he's trying to hit me with the pure kaiju action. He's trying to get me. <laughs> I'm not going to let him. <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> I'm not going to let him. <laughs> Jesus. Um, okay, so this is actually really good. Cause this means I can search uh, Oracle of Zephyr up. Um, and that's actually going to be really good for me. Uh, but so we'll activate this here, uh, banishing the uh, the Apelio to send Apelio, but it gets banished because of macro. And so what I get to do here is I get to start stacking up my uh, my ulti Kana Hawks. Now at this point, at this point, uh, it doesn't matter that I don't have regular Kana Hawk because Rampangu is better than Kana Hawk now because it fuels for two with the macro Cosmos up. Um, so it's it's actually just really good for me here, um, and I get to search for like three or four cards I think, uh, depending on how this goes. Uh, but I'm gonna get this and get the Rampangu. Uh, so that goes to grave, and from here I get to search for ambush, and then I can get to search for steeds. Uh, I'm gonna set up the pedalfin here. Uh, so there's that. So pedalfin. And now I get to do this and go back in to the ulti Konohawk. And from here, then I'll be able to just start cycling through my uh, my searching options. Um, in fact, uh, I don't have any more searching options. I can't tag this out any further um, until I do things otherwise. But what I can do is I can put these back in the graveyard and get a search. So that's fine. Um, so what I can do here is I can do that. And I can search for a tamer that I can use. Uh, or I can search for steeds and just not be a dumbass. <laughs> Let's be real, because um, I don't even need to. I don't need to. I'm, I keep trying to. I keep having it in my mind that I need to pressure him, but I actually just don't. Um, I don't need to pressure him any further than this because I can literally just keep his monsters off the board uh, with my own uh, steeds and ambush stuff. So like it, I can just slow roll this game, and I can just keep this kaiju on the board, and that prevents him from being able to kaiju me. And so like that's actually just super real. Uh, but so I'm gonna activate the Oracle of Zephyr here, searching this just so I have it. Next turn, I'll put like something like a Peleo in grave off of my uh, Kana Hawk. Um, I'll force it in the grave uh, through returning it, and then I'll be able to normal summon the Zephyr Pelica. I actually should have done that this turn, but um, like I said, shitty play lines uh, that you get from yours truly. Um, <laughs> Mainly from the from the standpoint of, in fact, I'm not even going to I'm not even going to tag this out until I see something like a board removal. Because what I'm going to lose to a kaiju? I've already got one. He can't kaiju me again. So I mean, I'm not too worried about that. And uh, from here on in, ho, huh, whoa, no, get away, run, run, little one. Um, so this will run. And it doesn't even matter what I bring back. It legitimately doesn't. I'm just going to bring back the Petalfin. Uh, just so it sucks up the special summon claws on it. 
Um, so that dies, and the Winda will get to then summon. I don't know, man. Like Ulti Guy Pelio. Um, uh, so yeah, Winda's effect will special Solmon. I can special this again. I mean, he can only have one Kaiju. So, yeah. <laughs> I think that's the play. Now, I can't ambush. Because if I did am I can't ambush because I only have the one tamer. So yeah, we're just going to put this back on board. Like, that was the most circle jerky thing I've ever done. In terms of, like, what am I doing? But at the same time. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to steeds you. And so at this point... This should be pretty clear how this is going to go. I get to immediately start my turn with a search. And then I can get this off the board pretty easily. All I have to do is outgrind this deck because it's Kaijus. Or I can draw a Kaki. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> All right, then. This works. Uh, so what I'll do is I will put... I will put... I will put put... The, uh, I can put the Apeleo back in Grave and it wouldn't actually, like, really matter. Um, so yeah. Because I can just bring it back. So yeah. We'll target that. And, uh, the Winda. And then we'll just tag it out. What the fuck? Why is my game making random noises now? That seems silly. Um, well, alright. So we'll do this and this. What the fuck? Why is it making the noise of a card going away now? I'm so confused. <laughs> well... Um, well, something I'm lacking in circulation right now is Tamers, so I'm going to add another Elder, that way I could normal Elder get, uh, get Pelica. That would be the way to go. Um, so yeah, we'll normal this, and then we will normal this after we, uh, after we realize exactly what we're doing here. And that is going into a, uh, I can actually just go into Lightning Chidori, like I don't even know why I'm acting like this matters. Um... Uh, I can just go into Lightning Chidori, and then this could bring back a Peleo, and then I can start tagging up into stuff. Uh, so yeah, we'll just do that. Lightning Chidori. I like making rank fours in this deck. It's just, it's a little bit of biased nonsense that I like to do. Um, might not be the right play, but I mean, hey, it's the play I like to make. Uh, but so we'll put this back on top of his deck. He's drawing it next turn, um, which means I need to like keep note of that. Um, but so we're gonna normal summon here. This will get a Peleo. Actually, that should just be game through 64. I think it is. Could be wrong. Uh, but, I mean, I've been wrong on things before. I'm pretty sure this is game through 64. Yeah, that's that's 3K. That's 52. Yeah, that's game through 64. Um, so, we're going to go into the third game. The uh, the glory game, as I, uh, as I prefer to call it. Um, is he going to let me go first again? Yes, he is. What a gentleman. And he's letting me open with Elder Rampangu. Uh, so, I guess this is fine. And so, this will activate. And I'll use it to put a Peleo, or put a Peleo in Grave, yeah. Um, and then, from here, Conahawk. And then I can do, uh, the guy Peleo putting Winda in Grave. So, that would be pretty alright. At least, at least that's the theory. I've really lost my enthusiasm in the past, like, ten minutes. Just because I'm playing through a really slow grindy deck in the form of the kaiju deck. And it's super simple, like, you give me one kaiju and I'm gonna protect it. <laughs> it's super easy. Um, I'm not gonna pretend like it isn't. Um, it's definitely an interesting deck, I'm not trying to act like it's not something interesting there. Uh, but it's just really simple um, to deal with. And that's kind of all that I really need to worry about is uh, dealing with things in a simplistic manner. Uh, but so, do this. This will activate, and I'll be able to put back this, and I'll put the Rampungu into the graveyard. And that will search for Ambush. I almost searched for Steeds, because I'm used to searching for Ambush first. Um, and so from here, I do not want to draw that Zephyr Pillica. So I'm just going to go ahead and activate this and add it. <laughs> because if I drew it next turn, you best believe, I would be a little bit upset. And now from here, since I know this is a kaiju deck, uh, keep in mind, I'm not retarded. Um, I may be silly, and I may be stupid, but I am not retarded. Um, get back the Winda, and get back the Apelio. 
And that way, what I'm capable of doing, basically, I'm setting myself up to lose to an interrupted kaiju slumber. Um, oh. Well, he's getting rid of these for me. So, I guess there's that. Um, but so, bring back those. Now, use a Peleo. And a Peleo will banish the Rampangu. And that way I can tag this out so I don't get kaiju <laughs> Complex play strings, hell yeah. Um, but now, I don't even care if any of these die. Well, I shouldn't say I don't care, but I mean, Winda floats. And then this can bring back any of the uh, of the uh, spiritual beasts that die. So if Rampangu or Peleo dies this turn, I can just summon um, Zephyr and Pilika and bring it back. So I'm not really too worried about that, per se. Uh, so he's given me Zakumongus. Um... Really? Hmm. Give me Kumongus, set to pass. Damn, Raigeki is a pretty good card. Um, is he gonna like draw phase D barrier me? If he does, I'm pretty sure I have game. Because I can normal summon this. I can make a rank 4. <laughs> I can make a rank 4 and then normal summon Pilika. Hell yeah! Um, alright. So what we'll do is we'll activate this. We'll attempt to get the, uh, the pedal fin into circulation. That's gonna be the thing that we try to do. Uh, so, banish this to send Petalfin, and then this will activate Banishing Elder. And so from here, uh, I want to dedicate my first resource into a Lightning Chidori. <laughs> this is like my go-to card, <laughs> Lightning Chidori. <laughs> This card says, if you have strikes, not trying to play into that. If you have dimensional barriers, not trying to play into that. There it is. <laughs> All right. Um, okay, so dimensional barrier calling exceeds. Very interesting. All right. Well, so here's the deal, is that I'm actually really scared that this is a strike. And so because I'm scared that it's a strike, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the pedal fin back because that's like the best play to do here. Because the pedal fin can bounce this. This has got two counters on it. I have not summoned my window this turn. Um, I can actually activate this just to get the uh, the pedal fin, the rampangu back in grave. It's gonna be negated, but it doesn't really matter because that's not what I'm too worried about here. Um, is that I'm gonna use this vanishing window. To bounce this to hand, right? And now I've got, uh, I've got, let's see, this is 2k, 39, 42, oh, nice play, sire. Um, so this is 42, um, or no, this is 42, 62. Uh, so 6200 in, uh, in the span of what I could do right now as far as damage. Um, but I can also banish his, uh, his waterfront, um, if I, or not banish, bounce it. Um, so that's not going to be too big a problem. I can get rid of this rather easily, um, through the Raigeki. So, yeah, I'm just going to start, he's, he's Dimension Barrier calling exceeds. So I'm going to start fucking with him in the form of doing my plays. Right? Seems like the way to make this happen. Um, so I can search for Steed's Ambush, I should be able to at least, um, because I can target this and I can target the, uh, the Elder, and then that way I can then chain the tag out of this, bring you back Elder, and the, uh, and the, really? Oh yeah, I've summoned Petalfin, I've summoned, uh, the Petalfin this turn, so I cannot bounce this. Interesting. So I definitely do need the Steed's and the Ambush. Good to know. Good to know! Good to know, dearest. Uh, have I specialed this this turn? I have not, so I can actually pump further. Um, so that's something to... That's something worthwhile to note. Is that I could bring this back and pump another card. Um, or I could just keep searching and keep this here as a big body. Yes, I'm gonna do that. I don't know why I'm... I don't know why I'm why I'm even messing with it. Um, do not even know. Um, so, what is this? It negates its effect. Why am I not allowed to respond to that? 
Hmm. Interesting. Um, well, I've got steeds. I can just tag this out. So I don't care. Till the end of the next turn. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's kind of actually real. Um, well, he's removed two counters from this. So I'm going to Rageki this. I feel super safe in rageki this. Because um, now that means there has to be one. Uh, and I'm going to set this. I'm going to attack with these. That is re why. Why was I not allowed to respond to that? That's the thing that gets me. Because I've definitely got more targets in here, don't I? No, I don't. Because I had to summon the Winda. That's right. Man, this deck is so much easier for me to play when I have the cards in front of me. So much easier for me to play when I have the cards in front of me. Because when I have the cards in front of me, I'm capable of actually like seeing play lines. You know what? I'm going to... No, I'm not going to... No, 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 no. I don't actually need this for the rest of the game. At least I don't think I do. Uh, so, like, he can kaiju me if he wants. If he drew the kaiju. I know he has removed brainwashing in hand. He drew the kaiju! <laughs> what a man! Alright. I mean, his deck is a kaiju deck. So, um... Now, the thing is... Is that he gets to search a kaiju. <laughs> and that kaiju... Is either going to be Gamma Seal to negate my steeds, or it's going to be something that gets hit by steeds. So, this is not a very good position for him to be in, if I do say so myself. But, regardless, um, I'm willing to see how this plays out. Uh, because, goddamn, pure kaijus. Ha! <laughs> um, so, yeah, wait, why wasn't I able to summon this? This was an option. Oh, it's because the pedal fin was here. That's right. The pedal fin was the only spiritual beast that was left. This deck is so much easier for me to play with the cards in front of me because I literally just have my vanish pile fanned out and I have the cards that I've already summoned turned sideways. <laughs> it's so easy. Uh, but the learning curve for this online is really hard because you have to. Yeah, see, it's Gamma Seal. Gamma Seal is going to negate the steeds and that's literally all that can happen. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you can remove two kaiju counters and get the activation if you do banish that card. Oh man, <laughs> this card doesn't get over Doggeran, um, so like it doesn't it doesn't seem to do anything. At least I don't think so. So he's attacking my lightning Chidori, which honestly I'm completely okay with. You can have that. You know what? You can have that. Because I'm going to remove the three kaiju counters from your waterfront and dark hole your gamma seal. That sounds like a good way to go. Uh, because if I did either of these, wouldn't actually save. God damn, Elder. Holy shit. You just love to be the to be the person that I draw in clutch ass situations, don't you? So now I get to Dark Hole his Gamma Seal, and he has no way to respond to it. Um, and so, yeah, this is just really unfair. I feel like I'm bullying, but at the same time, he does have a deck that is literally full of the most premium removal that this game has access to. So I feel like I can't really pull any punches here in terms of what I'm trying to do. Because he could just kaiju over me at any point, and that would be bad for me bad 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 uh, but so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna banish the window that gives everything a boost and from here um, I can just make I can just be super safe here um, and uh, that's remove brainwashing why am I trying to be super safe I know what that card is I'm gonna attack with this he's gonna flip remove brainwashing this is gonna go back to him I'm gonna ritual be steeds it, and I'm gonna attack for game. I I'm not going to I'm not going to waste any more time in this matter. I'm not. I refuse. I refuse. Um, so we'll do this. Destroying this. Um, and so from here, this is just game. So yeah. Yeah 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 y
Ooh, that one was kind of weirdly, oddly stressful. For reasons I don't quite know. Uh, well, actually, I do know them. It's because I don't want Konoha getting kaiju -ed. I just don't. Who wants these things in life? But anyway, I'm going to leave this here. Thanks for watching, as always. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below about this Ritual Beast deck. You'll see a deck list of it on screen by this point. And all that sort of nonsense. It's the same list that I put a deck profile up for a few days back. All that sort of nonsense. But if you're curious as to how you want to get onto my Discord server, if you want to be one of the people that I play with and chat with on a daily basis, then you could definitely go check out my Patreon page as well as if you're interested in getting some free shit. I'm doing monthly giveaways. I'm doing a giveaway at the end of this month for a box of Raging Tempest, as well as, depending on how well things go, also a second giveaway for a box of Fusion Enforcers, since there is two set releases in this month. So, something that I'm uh, considering doing. But that all depends on how well things go. But if you want to get entry into that raffle, like giveaway, go check out the Patreon page. There is a link to it in the description as well as on the video itself. But other than that, like, comment, subscribe, as I've already said. Let me know what you guys' thoughts are in the comments down below. And other than that, thanks for watching, as I've already said. Thanks for your time, as usual. And as always, guys, take care. I will see you in the next video.